I am literally just kneeling behind a bush on campus right now because this is my life. I just wanted to film a real quick intro to this video to say that today I'm gonna show you guys some lazy day outfits because I know on this channel most of my outfits are like pretty extra. Hopefully I'm gonna find a good balance between the stuff that's really comfortable and easy to throw together but still pretty cute and not like super basic. So this first outfit is really simple, but I think it pulls off the whole kind of trying, but not trying too hard, but also looking cute. But also this is like definitely just my pajama shirt that I rolled out of bed and threw a skirt over. I love this t-shirt because of the pale yellow color, which I recently learned is not complimentary to blue, but I still think it looks really nice with denim. My t-shirt is admittedly like three sizes beyond what a regular oversized shirt should be. So I rolled up the sleeves middle school style to try to calm it down a little bit. Instead of a necklace, I actually thought my glasses looked really good around the neckline, like the piece of hipster trash that I am. I don't know, I just thought the top was a little bit plain on its own so it could use a little something. Originally, I was gonna pair it with an overall dress for like maximum quirky, but I realized that I looked exactly like a minion, so I opted for this regular denim skirt instead. Oh, also sorry about that random piece of trash in my shot, I don't know what it's doing there. Um, yeah, that one. For shoes, these are in every single video that I shoot, but I like that they help dress up the outfit and give me a little bit of that vintage springtime picnic bitch vibe. But I also think this outfit would look amazing with some white platform sneakers, I just don't own any right now, I need to go and buy those soon. This second outfit is my current go-to outfit. It gives me like fashion blogger vibes even though it's super comfy and simple. I feel like one of those minimalist fashion bloggers who owns like three shirts but always somehow manages to look gorgeous. This sweater is thrifted, you guys might have seen it before, but it's just super soft and warm and the collar makes it feel a little vintagey but not in a super in-your-face way. My jeans, which I literally wear every other day, are from Abercrombie. I think they're the perfect amount of distress to counterbalance the simple top. And also, if you guys live in a place where you have to walk up a lot of stairs or hills, <coughs> UCLA, um, you'll know that knee rips actually make it so much easier to climb and bend your knees in skinny jeans. It sounds really dumb, but it's true. My shoes are these simple pointed loafers, which I love wearing with these jeans because I feel like it shows off just the perfect amount of ankle. Um, I don't know why, but I'm really picky about that proportion in particular. And in case you're wondering, this purse is the only purse that I own and it's from H&M. I carry it around to film all of my videos, but I thought I'd keep it in for this shot just because it helped tie in the black in the shoes with the rest of the outfit. I love this dress because it's never done me wrong, unlike my last boyfriend. Um, just kidding, we are not going down that road again. But yeah, it always looks cute and I don't have to think about it too hard. I think this outfit could work with any type of oversized jacket, like a blazer or a denim jacket would look really good too, but I opted for this corduroy one that I thrifted because I love the combination of tan and navy. It kind of gives me like old school Ivy League vibes, aka just a bunch of white guys in khakis. Shoes are again those buckle heels, which I have talked to death at this point. I think you guys get the point. This last outfit is what I wear when I'm going to smoke a joint. Just kidding. Um, this is like my super lazy day outfit though. When I filmed this, I was actually on my way to the editing lab, which is like a dark room full of computers where film students go to die. My t-shirt is from Forever 21 and it was super cheap. I originally bought this like two years ago when I was trying to start an embroidered t-shirt company with my friend. This is one of the many shirts that we never got around to embroidering, but I'm glad that I kept it around because it's one of my favorite basics now. I threw on this flannel as a layering piece in case the classrooms get way too cold, which for some reason they always are. And it's also great for covering your ass cheeks in case those don't fly at your school. Even though school dress codes are super outdated and sexist and how in the world all schools agree that girls shouldn't be allowed to show their bra straps in class but can't come together on preventing mass shootings is truly beyond me. But uh, on that hotly political note, that is the end of this video. Please don't unsubscribe, but also support gun control. Great. Oh God. Um, anyways, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next week.